Good morning, everybody. Um, number one, excuse the wind. Um, number two, you may have worked out we're on a beach. We're on a beach in the south of England, right? We are. Um, and if you look at the nature of the beach, it's stony. You'll work out it's stony, and that'll give you a good idea that we are in Brighton. Um, why are we in Brighton, Rebecca? For fun. For fun. No, we're, <laughs> we're in Brighton because uh, when we're out and about on our travels, we listen to a lot of podcasts. One of our particular favourite podcasts is Crash Bang Wallop, CB Wallop. Um, if you've heard of that, you'll realise that 50% of the fills that produce CB Wallop um, drive the Vox Railway here in Brighton. So um, you're going to join us today on the Vox Railway where we're going to meet Phil Lucas everybody. Hello! <laughs> so Phil's going to show us around um, the railway. We are going to have a bit of a chat with Phil thereafter. We're going to have a ride up and down um, up to Black... Black Rock. Black Rock, yeah. Uh, which as far as the line goes. As far as the line goes near the marina. Yep, yeah, fantastic. Um, and then we shall go back, have a sit down and have a bit of a um, nasty Phil thereafter. Very cool. cool, look forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the front of the Volks. Very exciting. We just went for oh, Mr. Lucas. What? Looking for my sunglasses down my head. <laughs> well, we just went for Mr. Lucas, who is going to take us on our one mile journey down the coast. Yeah. We've got up top front seats. This is yeah. very exciting. I feel like a sport child. Thank you, Phil. Um, this is wonderful. Yeah. station which is the eastern end of the Volks Railway and what you're looking at is a 1909-1919 pumping house sorry Phil replica of replica of is it replica that's what you said oh okay oh god now you're confused already yeah. aren't you we're only even starting <laughs> Check. Are there any disused stations on this line? No, unfortunately they've only ever had three as far as I'm aware. Only ever had three stations? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the halfway point, which is Marina. Yeah. This is Black Rock and obviously the aquarium down the other end. Um, where we're going to go and bug Phil in his lunch break, potentially and essentially ruining Phil's lunch break with a whole bunch of questions and history about the line. Mm -hmm. So um, apologies now, Phil. But thank you for your time, we do appreciate it. You are a gem.
We've got a new podcast episode out today, actually. It's the kidney special. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. of course it is. So how, we, how is Philip? He's fine, actually. He's yeah, right. he's not bad at all. But, I mean, you see it. He's got a 30 centimetre cyst removed. It was, right. It's like this. It's... It's incredible. So that was that was what the problem was. Yeah. Because we know we didn't quite get what was up. Yeah, um, he had a he had a massive cyst on his kidney right. and it pushed his kidney down. Um, and he noticed it because his spleen was starting to come out like, okay. like wow. a bulge, which is not a good sign because it can mean leukemia and things. Right. Um, but what it was, the cyst was so big it was pushing his organs. So they had to take it out. So, um, but he's fine, and he was very sort of much. He's like, okay, no, I want to make this very light-hearted. We'll just talk about yeah. the doctors and what happened, and, and he's not totally out the woods because he still has. We have they have to check the system. Yeah. Well, so you're at. What is the aquarium station? Yep. Uh, Box uh, railway line. This is actually quite a new build. This has only been here about a year and a half. Yep. Previous to that, we had a, what was actually an old tram shelter. Okay. Uh, but the line itself has been around since 1883. Okay. Um, in fact, um, you are here uh, two days after our 136th anniversary. Wow. Yeah, so you missed out on the free ride for the 136 uh. customer. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, so yeah, so apart from uh, five years during the war, this has been going yep. 136 years. So it's effectively it's continuous. Yeah, and it's the oldest continuous, the oldest in the world. Uh, working electric railway yep. in the world. There was a couple in Germany that beat it by about a year. Right. Um, one burnt down quite soon after, and one ceased operation in about a year. Okay. So this is. It's, it's actually quite annoying that we can't say, oh, it's the world's oldest, oldest yeah. electric railway. We always have to wait in operating. Still operating. <laughs> yeah, still operating. Yeah. But, you know, when it's you have to say that 40, 50 times a day, that operating word, it great. Please whisper it. It great. It's really important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's not bad going. No. That's not bad going. So, we read that he built, the same guy, Magnus Fox, built something else in the sea. Yes, the Pioneer, uh, yeah. which is... Most people know that as the Daddy Long Legs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an incredible thing. There's actually a new book just come out on it, or just coming out. Um, yeah, only ran for five years that, but it's, a, it's an incredible Jules Verne contraption. Yeah. Um, it ran on rails underneath the sea uh, and an overhead power cable. That was a question I was going to ask. Yeah. I was thinking, hey, how, does this, how does this work? Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> say it's the electricity run yeah. under, under the sea. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. Although the weird thing is, the electricity back would go on one of the rails under the sea. Okay. And so, you know, it would pick up from, uh, pick up overhead, right. and then obviously the electricity My knowledge of down. electricity and all things that ask me to wire a plug and I'll probably struggle. To be honest, um, I'm parroting something. I don't really know, yeah. but apparently that is what happened. <laughs> okay. I'm not that technical. Yeah, that works for us. Yeah, I can just about, people say to me, well, what's the line? They go, oh, it's 110 DC. Yeah. What that is, I have no idea. No. Um, so as long as they don't go any further with that question, yeah, I'm fine. That's fine. Right. You're in good company. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, the drivers. I want to the ask drivers you about that. map. Yeah. yeah. It looks really professional. Uh, and I, that's not that you can't do anything professional for. No, but thank you. <laughs> but it looked fantastic. I was thinking this, this is really good. <laughs> um, I want to ask you. So that's something you came up with to help you. Yeah. When I started here, um, I started last season. Um, People were always saying, oh yeah, you do this at crossing five, you do it, and I was thinking, I haven't got a clue where these crossings yeah. are, it didn't make any sense. So I thought, okay, I'll do my own little map so I can look at it and learn where things are, where I have to slow down, where yeah. I have to speed up. And of course, once I started it, I was like, oh, I can design this. And then I designed it a bit more, and then I was like, oh, why don't I make it sort of like the tube? And yeah. then it just became, it looked, looked like most things, I just start doing it, a project, yeah. a project comes into my head, and I'll, I'll do that. And then it, I got quite sort of, uh, um, quite keen on it, and that's yeah. it. but yeah, it's finished now. I think um, I'm sort of hoping we might better sell it in the shop because yeah, I think yeah, really the diehards might like yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So before that came, mm. route learning, that was it. So route learning, we've got a rule book yeah. um, which explains it all. 
um, but I just found it easier to visualise it. Yeah. It, it. It's all well and good to say, you know, you've, these are the crossings, but uh, yeah. it's far easier to think, okay, well that relates to that. Yeah. That section there, I know I have to slow down. So I, it really was just for me. Okay. Um, but it's good, yeah, it's, it's still quite handy. And it's really nice now, when we had two new uh, drivers this season, it was it nice to meet them just go, this will save you a lot of hassle, yeah, yeah. just have yeah. that, and then you'll know where to slow, where to start. Yeah. Yeah, where, um, where does it all stand? The weird thing is, obviously at night, when we're not running, it's all turned off. Yeah, so so that's night. totally yeah. safe. Yeah. Um, and we, this, the actual line is split into four sections as well, so you can isolate different sections okay. of the line. Yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, it really does work very much on the same way you would at a foot crossing on a main line. Yeah. It's like, there are the signs, yeah. don't okay, touch it. Sure, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, it does surprise me, I have to be honest, because one of the things here is obviously we have so many people down for the weekend yeah. and that means a lot of people are very merry and, and yeah. drink and stuff but we don't have touch wood we haven't had yeah. any problems yes um, obviously your main podcast at the moment is crash band wallet, crash band wallet the disaster podcast yeah yeah, which yeah. Is, which honestly provides us with a, there's times when I've genuinely had a tear in my eye, oh, genuinely, wow. and there's times when I've had a tear in my eye because I've been laughing as well. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's, thank it's, you. It's, it, we enjoy it so much, isn't it? Oh, um, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, the, the, the P and O one. Oh. Was, oh when, when you had the ladies' voiceover, you were talking there, was the, 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 oh. the ladies' struggle, and I was just, and I was like, bite your tongue, bite your tongue, stop, you know. It's, it's awful, bit, isn't yeah, it? It's awful. Yeah, it's, you do it in a really good way, and we yeah, teach on suck eggs. We love it. Basically. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. So do watch that if you don't listen to it. Obviously, it is quite a balance because you, you do think you know when we did it, we're like, how are we going to do this? And thought, well, neither of us get any pleasure from seeing horrible things, or we, we're not got, we've not got a sick sense of humour or anything. So we did just thought, well, let's talk about it, yeah. and then we can just find things funny that spin off from it that aren't yeah. related to the actual thing because there's nothing yeah. funny about no. what you talk about although we are really trying now to get the um the really unknown ones yes particularly yeah, sort of that, unknown yeah, victorian that, yeah. ones are our favorites yeah, yeah. So, um, even little things like the the coke um oh the, new coke yeah, new coke. yeah. We, I, I didn't know about that i mean i thought i would but it's really no, no, yeah. you said you knew about it you know, yeah i heard of it but i was like really the, oh really oh right but yeah that, that's what's also i guess quite good and maybe a bit of a break for you from the talking about death it is yeah. quite nice when you have one you think well actually nobody died in this yeah and that's why <laughs> we try and do it sort of every third one is a a business yeah. failure or something where yeah. you can just yeah. muck around because no one has actually hurt themselves yeah. or yeah. You know, that, that does yeah. make things much easier. So oh, well, the further you. away, the further time ago they were, it's not quite so bad. Yes, about yeah. It, yeah. There's no yeah. So it but that, yeah, yeah, but that, that's always a little, that's the thing that always crops up in my mind. You think sort of grief and uh, grief maybe, but respect seems to have a finite period, and it does <laughs> seem to be living memory of anyone involved, and beyond that, yes. it's free for all. Yeah. Because when you see sort of Titanic candlesticks, you think, oh, is that? It's kind of quite tasteless, really. Yeah. Uh, but then yeah. you think, uh, what? Yeah, okay, is, it, is it because it's so long ago? It's yeah. So. It's so sort of far away from being able to connect with it. I don't know. Mm. Um, but I think that was the thing. Sorry, I'm wanging on far too much. Like, but that's the whole point. That was the thing about that P&O. I remember it on the news. Yeah. And you think, oh, right, oh, it's horrible. Oh, right, awful. And then you hear the words. Yeah. And then you, you, you think they lost yeah. you know, this relative, that relative. This yeah. is how it happened. I think that's just, it's yeah. horrible. It really brings it home. I think we'll carry on doing that. There is talk at some point doing it live, yeah. um, because even though Phil is, is a you know professional stand-up, I gave up stand-up, um, but I did it for sort of five years, so yeah. I still kind of enjoy, yeah. uh, still do that. I mean, I've got my own little sort of bizarre little show that I'm currently writing at the moment, mm -hmm. which is, it's sort of history, but light-hearted history. It's not comedy. Yeah. It's not a lecture on history, but it, hopefully it's light-hearted. It's all about. Uh, well, it's a subject on everyone's lips. It's uh, Neville Chamberlain. Okay. So um, I'm writing all about a particular moment 
yeah. in uh, a key moment, a key moment uh, the piece of paper moment, yeah. uh, and I'm doing a show all about that. I've no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to write it and yeah, see what happens. There. But that's yeah. very much how I tend to do things. I, mean, I want to do that, yeah. and I do it, and then see what happens. You see what happens and <laughs> if nothing happens, I just move on to something else. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that, that was Phil. Um, thanks, Phil. Um, as as much of a joy in person as he is um, to listen to on his podcast, so do listen to his podcast. We'll put links in the description below. Um, yeah, that was the um, Volks Railway. If you come to Brighton, um, hop on. It's great fun. Um, takes you a mile down a beach. Starts um, at the aquarium end. Aquarium end is where we are now, down to Black Rock. Mm -hmm. We've got the marina in the middle. Um, you can still see remnants apparently back at Black Rock of the old uh, Daddy Long Legs one that used to go in the sea. Um, but from us um, and Brighton Beach, it's a goodbye. Like, subscribe, comment, share, etc. Notification bell. Laters.